I, I'd like to make a suggestion. My name is Walter Sparlake Havison. In Arizona, we are unique in that we have a group of scientists that can tell you, while well, this material is in the air with a spectrometer, specifically what it is as it's coming out of the back of the airplane, whether it's from spray nozzles or, or, or the engines. Um, it's the best in the world. They have all the equipment there. We're a community. People do favors for each other. They will do a favor for you and do a spectral analysis of that. Now, the next step is uh, very significantly more difficult because everybody knows the federal government is behind it, the federal government is doing it. I agree, you do not maintain subject matter jurisdiction over these kind of events with the federal government. The federal government does these things primarily under the guise of national security. I'm going to take you back a few years. Uh, when President uh, Eisenhower <clears throat> left office, he said, beware of the military-industrial complex. Shortly after that, people started dying in San Francisco. Cancer. Cancer was an epidemic. Nobody realized cancer was communicable. Somebody sneezed next to you and you catch cancer. Really? The statutory time limit on when the government can keep secrets from the people is 35 years. 35 years later, it was revealed. They intentionally released radioactive material into the atmosphere specifically to count the death rate of people. It was done for a national security project. The project was, if an atomic bomb ever went off here, they wanted to find out what the fallout would do to all the people. The only thing, that, so all the people who died, I mean, after this was, was, was divulged, the people who were still alive were their family members and they lost interest. I mean, over time, the government wins. They, they, they beat you through attrition. For the last 40 years, there has been a law in this country that very few people know about. And the law is going to sound stupid to you, but this honestly is the real law. If the President of the United States declares a state of national emergency, he and all of his people gain immunity. So if you sue the federal government and you go into the courtroom, the judge lacks subject matter jurisdiction over any evidence submitted by the, by the President during a time of national security as declared by him. So in other words, there's hardly any way you're going to win a lawsuit if he makes that declaration. This is a very difficult problem. I have I litigated that issue for 20 years. And the Supreme Court agreed with that stupid decision. I have studied this for so many years. The only solution I can, I mean, short of physical violence, the only solution I can come up with is You've got to get rid of all those stupid people in Washington, D.C.